Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a brief look at Waves 5 and 6 of the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. This is just going to be a quick preview that I cooked up. I basically went on Fantasy Flight's website and looked at all of their different articles and pulled some of the images from those articles into one nice, easy-to-view PowerPoint presentation. Keep in the back of your mind that these uh, particular waves are not out to the public yet, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change, though uh, most of it should be reflective of the final product. Okay, it's also worth noting that Vinny Jr. is over here watching me. Uh, he is an avid uh, Star Wars X-Wing fan. He plays uh, games with me on a regular basis. If you follow my YouTube channel, you'll know this. So he'll chime in from time to time as he sees fit. Um, the first uh, wave we're going to look at here is wave number 5, the YT-2400 freighter and the VT-49 decimator. The former is of the Rebel Alliance and the latter is of the Imperial Fleet. Now, as you can see here, the Decimator has no red maneuvers. Um, I'm not going to bother reading these off to you, but I'll give you a brief second to look at these. No K-turns from the looks of it. Uh, Vinny and I are looking at these for the first time. Even though I threw all of these things into a slideshow, I really didn't have time to look at them. So this will be a surprise to the both of us. All right, here's a quick look at some of the tokens and the ship itself on its base and all that jazz. Look. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. It comes with, uh, it looks like bomb tokens, and may even, I'm looking along the bottom there, and it looks like there's some sort of uh, obstacle tokens there, oddly shaped, as they may be. Okay, let's move on. Okay, um, here are some of the pilot cards. Rear Admiral Sharano, uh, Sharano? I I'm going to butcher these. The VT-49 Decimator, uh, when attacking at range 1 to 2, you may change one of your focus results to a critical result. Pretty powerful. Sort of like the marksmanship ability, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It has a focus and target lock action. Um, the stats over on the left-hand side, three attack, and from the looks of it, there's a circle around that, meaning that it can fire in a 360-degree firing arc. Zero agility, so no defense die, but uh, there may be some cards out there that might contribute to that. Twelve hull and four shields. And this particular captain, Rear Admiral uh, Shiranu, uh, has eight uh, captain skill. Over on the right, Commander Kenkirk. Uh, again, same stats. If you have no shields and at least one damage card assigned to you, increase your agility value by one. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, it looks like the point cost on these are 46 and 44, respectively. So, to add one of these to your fleet, you're going to be spending uh, quite a chunk of change, I think. All right, let's move on. Captain... Oh, my... Can you just come up with names that are easy to pronounce? Oakin, Oakin, Mr. Captain O. I'm just going to call him Captain O. Captain O, uh, Captain Skill of Four. After executing a maneuver, each enemy ship you are touching suffers one damage. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, with auto blasters on top of that, I bet you that would be uh, an interesting combination. Uh, focus and target lock, it has a cost of 42. Here are some of the upgrade cards. I, Zane, uh, Izard, I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, um, I don't know how to pronounce these, but I remember this character from uh, the Star Wars uh, X-Wing book series. Um, at the start of the combat phase, if you have no shields and at least one damage card assigned to your ship, you may perform a free evade action. Moff Jer Gerard, uh, when you are dealt a... Why Jer Gerard? <laughs> Jer Gerard? Wow, his parents must have hated him. When you are dealt a face-up damage card, you may discard this upgrade card or another upgrade card to flip that damage card face down without resolving its effect. Hmm. So you can discard upgrade cards to get rid of criticals. Interesting. Ruthlessness, Imperial only. After you perform an attack that hits, you must choose one other ship at range 1 of the defender other than yourself. That ship suffers one damage. So it's sort of like an AoE attack, right? Not too bad. Uh, Dauntless title. After you execute a maneuver that causes you to overlap another ship, you may perform one free action, then receive one stress token. Intimidation. While you are touching an enemy ship, reduce that enemy ship's agility value by one. That's kind of strange, though, because when you're touching an enemy ship, you can't attack them. However, if you have another ship within, you know, if you have another ship within range, that might be good for them. So flying like with a wingman or something and using intimidation might be a good idea. Tactical jammer modification, your ship can obstruct enemy attacks. That's interesting. 
All right, here's a look at the Y2-2400 freighter. Um, one thing I noted on the uh, on the Fantasy Flight article uh, that this ship can apparently barrel roll, and I included a picture of that to the right there. Pretty interesting. All right, here's a look at um, all of the different stuff that comes with it. More. What's that? There's more pieces than... Yeah, there's a lot more pieces. Uh-huh. Okay, Dash Rendar, uh, Captain Skill of 7. I think it's, I keep calling it Captain Skill. I'm used to Star Trek Attack thing. It should be Pilot Skill of 7. Um, that's the problem when you're playing with so many games. Uh, Star Trek Attack Wing is so similar to this game that I end up uh, confusing the two. But yeah, Captain Skill of 7, Dash Rendar. Um, this particular uh, ship as a whole, 2 attack, 2 agility, 5 hull, 5 shield. Um, and that has that uh, circle around the attack value, meaning that it can fire in 360 degree. Again, like the Millennium Falcon can. You may ignore obstacles during the activation phase and when performing actions. This has focus, target lock, barrel roll. Um, over on the right, Lebo, uh, when you are dealt a face-up damage card, draw one additional damage card, choose one to resolve and discard the other. That sounds familiar, but I don't know why. Uh, there's an, I could have sworn there's another character that does something like that. All right, uh, and these ships have the focus, target lock, and barrel roll action. Merrick Steel, that allows, if you attack and get a critical, you can do the other damage. Merrick Steel? Is he, is he limp? What, what ship is he? he Ty advanced. Wow. So, see, this is why I have him around. He he's really good at this. Okay. When you another, he does a damage to them. You will pick three, and then you can pick one of them to use with their opponent. Oh, so you can. Okay. So Merrick Steel, uh, you draw three, pick one, and then give one of those cards. Yeah. Okay, I remember now. Okay, it's starting to come back to me. Um, Eden Vr. Oh my! Come on with the names. If you have more vowels than consonant in your name, then you need to re Eden then Vril. give yourself a name change, huh? Yeah, put some of those vowels from the first name into the last name, please. All right, when attacking a, or when performing a primary weapon attack against a stress ship, roll one additional attack die. That's pretty powerful. There's a lot of upgrade cards that make uh, someone get, is it Tactician? Isn't that one card that gives uh, at range two? There's a, yeah, so in combination with that, that might be worth it. Horton Psalm. Horton Psalm. The one that increases their I believe Oh, yeah? Cost of 32 down there. I've just been looking at these 36, 34, and 32. So this ship is cheaper than the Decimator, just in looking at it. The has more yeah, the Decimator has way more. Uh huh. The Outrider here is a title. While you have a, a heavy weapon upgrade card equipped, you cannot perform primary weapon attacks, and you may perform secondary weapon attacks against ships outside your firing arc. Okay. Interesting. You can, okay, so while you have this upgrade card equipped, you cannot perform primary weapon attacks. So basically, you give up your primary weapon, in order to use, use your secondary weapon, the, and, heavy, um, the heavy heavy cannon in any direction. <laughs> That's interesting. That's, five, that has a five-point upgrade cost. Oh the God. downside to using that, though, is that you won't get critical hits. Because with, I mean, with that secondary That's weapon... Well... Well, the auto blaster I don't think is a heavy weapon. That's a it's, turret, is it? No, it's part of the... Uh, oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Lebo, action, perform a free boost action, then receive one ion token, and then experimental interface modification. Once per round after you perform an action, you may perform one free action from an equipped upgrade card with the action header, then receive one stress token. All interesting upgrades. Countermeasures, uh, large ship only modification. At the start of the combat phase, you may discard this card to increase your agility value by one until the end of the round. Then you may remove one enemy target lock from your ship. So you have to discard this card. Okay, so this is like a one-time use card, which I can understand because that's pretty powerful. Lone Wolf, when attacking or defending, if there are no friendly ships at range one or two, you may reroll one of your blank results. So this definitely favors um, being by yourself. You know, at the Lone Wolf, I might have this under the wrong category. Um, I think when I was throwing these um, slideshows together, I, this Lone Wolf might be a part of the next wave. So disregard this card for right now. I don't think Lone Wolf belongs here, but uh, I could be wrong. Because I, I think that appears under the, uh, the next wave. So disregard that real quick. 
We'll just move on to the next one. Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game, Scum and Villainy, a third faction and part of Wave 6. You've got the IG-2000, uh, M3-A Interceptor, Most Wanted, which is a Z95 Headhunter and uh, times 2 and a Y-Wing. So two Z95s and a Y-Wing and a Star Viper expansion. One thing to note about this new faction, they have some different upgrade icons. The illicit upgrade icon looks like the number 7 there. Um, and that just allows those upgrades uh, to be unique to them so that the Rebels and Imperials can't use them. And the salvaged astromech upgrade, you can see that there. Again, that is unique to the Scum and Villainy faction. Uh, that way, uh, the Rebels and Imperials can't use the R2s and, and so on and so forth that come with this particular uh, faction. All right, so let's move on. This is the Most Wanted expansion. Again, two Z95s, one Y-Wing. Here's some of the... Yeah, there's so much there. Look at that. And that's just Y-Wings and Z95s. Mm-hmm. And they come with five maneuver dials. Yeah, six maneuver dials. What? From, yeah. Yeah, how? Well, one thing that this... Um, even though um, it only comes with two Z95s and a Y-Wing, it comes with um, Hawk... Was it Dash 290? I can't yeah. remember the, the designation. And, and, and the Fire Spray, it comes with cards for... Uh, so if you have Bob, if you have the uh, Fire Spray and the Hawk 290 expansion already, you'll get additional cards to go along with that. You don't actually get the Fire Spray or the Hawk with this expansion, but you get cards for those expansions. Maybe Okay. Well, here's a look at the Z95s. Uh, Nindru Shukat. Come on! <laughs> Sulak. Okay. Ca uh, pilot skill 7, 2222, uh, same as the Z95. When attacking, if there are no other friendly ships at range 1 to 2, roll one additional attack die. So this guy basically likes being by himself, from the looks of it. Focus target lock, 17 points. Uh, Kato Lee, Lee seriously with the names, Liachas. Uh, okay. Um, at the start of the combat phase, you may remove one focus or evade token from another friendly ship to assign it to yourself. <laughs> Jerk face. <laughs> yeah, if you use right, right. The the Hawk 290. There, if you use or any any um, large ship that you can uh, use the. Uh, it, where you can, I can't remember the name of the upgrade card, but you can take a focus action and then get another focus on top of that. I think it came with the Hawk 290 expansion. I, it, I can't remember from the top of my head. You kept using it with that one ship that kept allowing you to mm. keep the focus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, like you also have a Black Sun Soldier and a Benyar, ben, Benayar, Benar, Pirate, Benard, Benar, the B Pirate. Uh, <laughs> 3 and 1 as far as uh, pilot skill, 13, 12 as far as cost. No special abilities. Here's a look at the Y-Wings. Cavill, cap or pilot skill is 7. I keep saying captain. 2, 1, 5, 3 as far as stats go. When firing a ship, when attacking a ship outside your firing arc, roll 1 additional attack dice. So this guy basically likes using those uh, blaster turrets or ion turrets. Or any other new turrets that are outside. Yeah, well, anything outside the firing arc. Um, focus target lock, cost of 24. Drea Renthal, Y-Wing. After you spend a target lock, you may receive one stress token to acquire a target lock. Similar to another card that allows you to reacquire target locks. Uh, some other pilots allow you to do that, but you actually have to receive stress in order to do it. The costs are 24 and 22, respectively. Syndicate Thug, no special ability, cost of 18. Mm-hmm. Boba Fett. Uh, here are the Fire Spray upgrade cards that come with this. Um, again, stats 3, 2, 6, 4. Uh, when attacking or defending, you may re-roll one of your dice for each enemy ship at range 1. So this guy likes being in the thick of things. I am so confused because there's, we have a Slave 1, but that's in... Well, we have, we have the Slave 1 and we have the Boba, I think we have Boba Fett and a few others. Yeah. Kath Scarlet, don't we have her too? No, I don't think so. I can't remember. I no, who do... Right, he he's not this. Yeah, Boba Fett is both on the Imperial faction and now on the Scum and Villainy faction. But again, it's a unique. See that little dot next to his name? That means he's a unique, and you can only use one. But anyway, um, yeah, 
evade, or yeah, there's an evade, a focus, and a target lock on that, cost of 39. Cath, Scarlet, um, when attacking a ship inside your auxiliary firing arc, roll one additional attack die. So basically, Cath, Scarlet seems like she would be um, great. You never, whenever ships first attack each other, they t end up passing each other and then turning around trying to attack each other, maybe like via K-turn, but it seems like Kath Scarlet would like um, to keep her rear facing somebody. I I that sounds wrong, and I'm trying to keep this PG, because <laughs> Vinny's sitting right here, but yeah, um, it seems like she she prefers to have other pilots behind her. Let's just keep going. 39-38, as far as cost. Iman Azamine. He is a uh, character from X-Wing, uh, uh, oh crap, Star Wars X-Wing, uh, uh, is it Alliance? I can't remember the name of the game. There was um, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, and then I think there was Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. Um, I could be wrong about that, but um, it was a video game. Uh, one of my favorite ones, a flight simulator game. But anyway, Iman Azamine, uh, 6 pilot skill. Uh, when dropping a bomb, you may use the hard bank 3, straight 3, or the again, hard bank 3 template instead of the 1 template. Wow, that's pretty powerful. You can you could do some really neat damage with that. You could just top them the ship to explode on that. And you could be far away from them, too. The 3 gives you a nice reach there. Um, the Mandalorian Mercenary, no special ability. I'm very surprised, though, because the Mandalorian Mercenary has an elite symbol on the upgrade card, but Amon doesn't. Huh. Maybe. I'm surprised. That's the first time I've seen, um, you know, just a, a no-name with a uh, an elite upgrade where a main character does not. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's your Hawk 290's Dace Bonearm. <laughs> Seriously, Bonearm? <laughs> when an enemy ship at range 1 to 3 receives at least one Ion token, if you are not stressed, you may receive one stress token to cause that ship to suffer one damage. Okay, so definitely use an ion token or an ion cannon with this guy. Um, uh, hmm. One, at, one attack. I think I think the Hawk two nineties only have one attack, don't they? I don't know. I think they. I by default, I think they do. Um, it's it's with the blaster turrets that the Hawk two ninety really shine, or the or the ion turrets. But the Palob Godali. Um, at the start of the combat phase, you may remove one focus or evade token from an enemy ship at range 1 to 2 and assign it to yourself. Again, another greed jerk. Okay. Uh, we just saw that. Torkill Mux. Yeah, from a friendly, though. Mm -hmm. At the end of the activation phase, choose one enemy ship at range 1 to 2. Until the end of the combat phase, treat that ship's pilot skill value as zero. Wow. That's interesting. A great support ship. Um, if you can... Right, I mean, you can, you can, um, you could assign a bunch of, say, threes or four uh, pilot skill ships to your squad, and then if you're facing off, say, against Wedge and Tilly's, you can use Torkill Mux here to reduce his pilot skill to zero, and your threes and fours will still fire first. So you could potentially, you could potentially build a, a lot of low pilot skills. 19, that's not too bad, 19, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, some of the upgrade cards are for dash B11. When attacking, if you have a target lock on the defender, you may spend the target lock to choose any or all defense die. The defender must re-roll the chosen dice. So it's sort of like uh, attacking with a target lock, but it's the opposite. You can actually uh, make him roll his uh, defense die. That's interesting. R4 Agromech. Uh, when attacking after you spend a focus token, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. Hmm. I guess that might be useful for a follow-up attack. Or if you're defending first and you use a focus to maybe evade an attack or something. Um, unhinged Astromech. You may treat all three speed maneuvers as green maneuvers. Is there, um, I don't know if any of these ships have a 3k turn. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I'm sure the hard banks would have a 3. Yeah, anyway. Um, BTL A4 Y-Wing, it's a title. You cannot attack ships outside your firing arc. After you perform a primary weapon attack, you may immediately perform an attack with a secondary weapon, 
or a turret secondary. So basically, you're giving up the ability to fire a 360 degree with a turret um, in order to fire twice inside your firing arc. So basically, with this title, you need to keep ships inside your primary firing arc, is what that comes out to be. A bomb loadout, um, Y-Wing only. Your upgrade bar gains the bomb icon, so I guess if you want to use proton bombs with a Y-Wing, you can. Uh, that, that one's, that's, I know that type of ship. That's usually the long probe. That's the, what? the newest one. Long probe. What's a long and probe? It's a, it's a BTA-4 long probe. And games long range sensors. Their sensors been upgraded. He has a Star Wars Star Wars books uh, Star Wars book, yeah, and it has all of the ships in it. I think is that did I give it to you? Did I buy it for you? That I was was it my one, book? One of your one of yours is yours that one with all the oh. dash render, but the other one has it. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, he has a book that has all this stuff in it. He loves reading it. Um, so he knows more about the lore than I do. Uh, outlaw, outlaw tech. Scum only limited. After you execute a red maneuver, you may assign one focus token to your ship. Huh. So, I wonder if you can use um, push the limit with that. Oh my god. Could, to get two focus tokens? <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Um, Andrasta, uh, Fire Spray 31 only title. You're, that's uh, as um, oh, that guy's name, the Azamine, his ship, Iman Azamine ship, I think. Your upgrade bar gains two additional upgrade icons. Um, so if you want to drop a lot of bombs, that's the way to do it. I don't know if you could do it all at once. Mines. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> If you are a genius, if you are equipped with a bomb that can be dropped before you reveal your maneuver, you may drop the bomb after you execute your maneuver instead. Okay. Uh, so, I guess a smart bomb. I guess that's why the title is genius. Okay, Greedo, the first time you attack each round and the first time you defend each round, the first damage card is dealt face up. Wait a minute. The first time you attack each round and the last... You defend... That's interesting. So... You better hope that when you attack, you do damage, but don't receive any damage from the, from the sound of it. Or just make sure you have shields. A uh, Hotshot Blaster. Attack. Discard this card to attack one ship, even a ship outside your firing arc. That's an attack, though. So, um, three attack dice, range one to two. Uh, salv Ooh, my voice just cracked. Salvaged Astromech. Uh, when you are dealt a damage card with the ship trait, you may immediately discard that card before resolving its effect. Then discard this upgrade card. So let's let's get that. Discarding your Astromech. <laughs> discard. Okay. So when you are dealt a damage card with the ship trait, you may. Okay. So it's sort of like um, the um, what's that Imperial trait? Darth Vader determination. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Okay. All right, the Star Viper. Um, as you can see, pretty cool stuff. There's a lot. I mean, I love. I uh, played the Star Viper in. I think it was the video game Star Wars: Empire at War. It's similar to Star Wars: Rebellion, another game that came before it. Um, but yeah, the Star Viper is a very powerful uh, pirate ship. Um, Prize Prince Zizor, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, three, three, four, one. As far as stats go, captain skill or pilot skill seven. Again with the captain skill. When defending, a friendly ship at range one may suffer one uncancelled hit or crit result instead of you. So basically, if you want to keep this guy alive, he can be a jerk and pass his damage off to somebody else. He has the focus, target lock, barrel roll, and boost action. 31 points as far as uh, cost goes. Virago, uh, Star Viper only title. Your upgrade your upgrade bar gains the scan and uh, illicit upgrade icons. You cannot equip this card if your pilot skill value is 3 or lower. Accuracy corrector. When attacking, you may cancel all of your dice results. Then you may add 2 hit results to your roll. Your dice cannot be modified again during this attack. So basically, if you roll a really crappy roll, you can, you know, use this card and uh, give yourself at least two hits, which is pretty powerful. There's a lot of rolls I wish I could change, but, you know, just can't. Inertial dampeners. Uh, when you reveal your maneuver, you may discard this card to instead perform a white maneuver, then receive one stress token. That's not too bad. If, if you have a ship behind you and it, you can't shake them, you can use that and make them pass you. That might be something to look into. M3, M3-A Interceptor. Uh, again, um, saw this ship during my time with Star Wars Empire at War. Um, your upgrade bar gains the... What is that? Uh, heavy weapon, proton, proton torpedoes, and missile upgrade 
or upgrade missile icon. Oh my god, that's, yeah, that's not, a lot to use from that. It looks like it has a 3k turn down there, so at least it can do that. Okay, uh, moving on. Yeah, there wasn't any uh, uh, cards, unfortunately, on the official website related to that. IG-2000. Um, not too familiar with this one. Uh, Segner's Loop reference card. Uh, basically, this is a K turn, except you're using a uh, bank. Or, uh, what is that? A, a, yeah, bank maneuver. A slight right or slight left. So basically, what you do is um, you, you do a normal maneuver. Okay, and then you just flip your ship 300 or 180 degrees. Again, similar to a K turn, only you're doing a bank. So it's a it's a bank K turn. No, it's just a slight turn. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Uh, yeah, well, it's called a bank maneuver. So okay, that's pretty interesting. I don't know of any other card that does that. Moving on, Dead Man Switch. When you are at range, or when you are destroyed, each ship at range one suffers one damage. Okay, so he's like a kamikaze, a feedback <laughs> array. Well, how how expensive are these? It doesn't say. Do I have? I don't think I. Okay. Well, in looking at it, 36. that is thirty six. There, it's kind of hard to see this, but there's four pilot cards there, and the the cost that I can see see is thirty six. So, um, had this had this ship been like a cheapy, like a Z ninety five, I could see that. Well, actually, you could you could assign this upgrade to a Z95, couldn't you? It has the it has the illicit upgrade. No, it, dude, I think it's to the Z95. That's for this. That's what I mean. The Z95 yeah, for the scum, right? The Z95 has that illicit. So you could assign the dead man switch to a cheapy ship, one that's going to blow up, and then kamikaze run, kind of thing. Feed. Like yeah, a wing. Well, I don't think the a I don't think uh, the pirates have a wings. Just the Z95s and the Y wings. Mm -hmm. That's how the activator was destroyed. In uh, uh, Star Wars because Episode the Six. Crash, yeah, I know. I want to go watch Star Wars now. Feedback <laughs> array. During the combat phase, instead of performing any attacks, you may receive one ion token and suffer one damage. What? <laughs> to choose one enemy ship at range one. That ship suffers one. So it's similar to the Darth Vader ability. Um, that and it, it, the uh, the crew member. Darth Vader, where you can take damage yourself. I think it's two damage to make someone else suffer one damage. Similar to that. IG-2000, aggressor only title. You have the pilot ability of each other friendly ship with the IG-2000 upgrade card in addition to your own pilot ability. That's interesting. Okay, and there you have it, a quick look at Waves 5 and 6. Hopefully you found this informative and enjoyable. Um, once again, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can keep up to date on any new content I happen to publish. And of course, I've got plenty of X-Wing games out there. In case you haven't uh, watched them yet, um, go do so. Vinny Jr. and I uh, try out all sorts of different ship combinations, and we have fun while doing it. So if you love this game and you want to see people play this game uh, in real time, well, maybe not in real time, but in recorded real time. Um, yeah, that would be the best thing to do, I think. So, yeah, um, I guess with that said, if you haven't already, check out my official website. I have a review out for this game. Very positive, obviously. I've covered this game out the wazoo. Uh, that website is www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. Special thanks to Vinny Jr. here for tagging along and uh, chiming in. Uh, this is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.